She's a vegan! What is going on? You're right. I couldn't help myself. Oh, I wanted to know about her, and I got what I deserved. A vegan. A gluten-free vegan. Charles, you need to calm down. No! You call it, Rosa. So go ahead. Laugh at me. Laugh! Laugh it up! Can I wait till after the funeral? Shh. Of course you can. And now on to new business. Peralta, there's a case I'd like you to handle. Methodist Hospital called this morning. Apparently, a 38-year-old investment banker was admitted last night with a broken penis. It looks like a... Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a finance guy with a broken dong? Uh, me think some Wolf of Wall Street-style shenanigans have taken place this day. Anyone care to wager a guess as to how this happened? Yeah, I bet he dipped it in a pile of cocaine, got it real numb, and then hit a croquet ball with it. Totally possible. He probably sat on so it. got under his butt. Happens all the time. I sure do. Ugh, you guys are horrible. And you're wrong, because because he was clearly driving his Bentley naked, tried to pee out the window, and was then struck by a goose on the wang. Is that what happened, sir? Was he struck by a goose? He was actually struck by a female co-worker who claims he attempted to sexually assault her. <sighs> really wish you had stopped us before we started guessing. I'm not responsible for that. Now, due to the sensitive subject matter, I think it makes sense to partner Peralta with- Me? Because I'm the best at sex? No, Hitchcock. In fact, you know what? This isn't your week. Why don't you take a few days off? Sweet! Have fun working, cucks! What? Captain, I'd like to work the case with Jake. I have the time. I'm three weeks ahead on my paperwork. Fine. Santiago and Peralta, talk to both parties. Get to the bottom of this broken penis. Wait. I just want to say I think it's sad that we as a society can no longer laugh at the phrase broken penis. And it is my dream that we one day shall again. Team Broken Penis on three. One, two, three. Broken penis! Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. Drying dishes, yeah. Man, Charles has been so happy and confident ever since he hooked up with that professor at the captain's party. <laughs> she has tenure and also has 10 years times two older than him. That sucked. Yeah. It's nice to see him like this. He's so confident. This morning, he finally corrected the barista when she called him Charlize. He's been living as Charlize Broil for five years. It's great. It's all so great. He could take it down just a smidge. If you like pina coladas. Dead guy, Charles. Sorry. But whatever. I can handle the singing. I'm just so happy for that guy. It's about time he caught a break. Sexy train is leaving the station. Check out this caboose. Later, sluts. Just let him have it. Great job, Boyle. I'll get back to you guys by the end of the day with all the logistics. Sergeant Terrence Jeffords. Four years ago on this exact date, you told me I was too old to learn how to do the worm. I vowed on that day to prove you a fool. And today, I shall. Check it. <laughs> As I was telling the squad, our old CO, Captain McGintley, just passed away. Oh, no. We're going to Los Angeles for the funeral next week. I'll have the travel details later. Hey, has anyone seen a worm? Because this funky chicken's hungry. Charles, a man has died. Read the room. I'm glad we got these sweet cams. What is happening with your voice? This is body cam, Charles. I gotta sound badass in case anybody watches the footage. Compete. Oh, oh, I just spilled soup on the cam. Why do you have soup on a stakeout? Oh, no, crap. Oh, it's not turning back on. Do you think Sarge is going to be mad that I spilled pho on the cam? He definitely won't if I say pho like that when you tell him. I'm not going to mispronounce it. Not while you're rolling. Go get yourself cleaned up. <laughs> See anything, Sarge? Not yet. Don't know why I didn't go undercover as someone wearing a scarf. Terry hates wind chill. Wait, here's our guy. Got him. Crap, I think he made me. He's headed toward the restaurant. You follow. I'll cover the back alley. Ah! Someone's in here. Rosa? Charles, you're completely naked. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney? <sighs> Sir, Jake really pissed me off, and I want to help you take him down. Well, that's an intriguing proposition. You certainly could be useful. Thank you. To Jake! I gotcha, Peralta! You're not fooling anyone! Why does everyone think that's where a camera would be? Because the cleavage cloaks the camera with its curves. That'll be all, spy. 
Sorry, I said cleavage. Mm -hmm. We'll wait for backup. Great. Thank you. Only I'm not waiting. What? Charles, no! Ugh. Charles! Stop scooching! I am going to scooch. You don't tell me when to scooch. God, I can't get by. Curse my beautiful bubble butt. See, all boiled men are blessed with a flat ass, which is perfect for scooching. Why are you acting this way? So I made a promise to my son. You can't understand because you're not a father. You never will be. Hey, yes I will. Wayne Jake, we're all waiting. What are we even arguing about now? It's about me saving Christmas, duh. Oh, damn it. My pants are snagged. Ha ha. Now you have to wait for backup. No, I don't. I'm going to shimmy them off. Oh, God, the eye contact is the worst part. I told you, Jake, I'll do anything to perk up my little man. You've got to know how gross that sounds in your underwear. What happened with Hawkins? Did she take the bait like a stupid fish? Yeah, she invited us to go out with our gang tonight. Speaking of which, Captain, any luck getting coke out of evidence? One bag of primo blow, as is the prolongs. I still have reservations about this plan. Perhaps you could say your dealer ran out or he's summering in Nantucket. No, this is perfect. If she gets wasted, maybe she'll get sloppy and start talking. Plus, I mean, I can teach you guys how to fake take real drugs like a pro. I used to do it all the time when I was undercover. All you gotta do is close your nostril when you go down. Watch this. Oh, nope. I didn't do it that time. I got a full snoutful. Woo! <laughs> okay, no, let me just try it again. I'm a little rusty. All you gotta do, just close the old nostaroni and then... Oh, boy, I got more that time. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Whoa! Where did you get this? Adrian, that's enough. <gasps> we can make fake cocaine for ourselves out of vitamin B powder. Ooh, vitamin B, the second best vitamin. Guys, I'm telling you, the fake snorting can work. Watch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got so much that time. Oh, oh, oh. Anybody want to listen to Jamiroquai right now? OK, I'm just going to move this away from your nose holes. <gasps> well, you two should get going. If Hawkins tells you anything, text me right away. I'll stay here and watch Adrian. Who's Adrian? Yeah, all right. Hey, you, any guys play an instrument? You know, I play a little bit of bazooki. Anybody else play an ancient stringed instrument? No? You guys want to go to the beach? It's a beautiful day. Just maybe, like, get out there, throw the disc around, right? Hey, have you ever been to the Statue of Liberty, Captain? Mm. Have you? Have you ever been inside, like, under the skirt? Like, what's up there? Did they build a? You know what I'm saying? Oh, guys, watch this. I'm going to juggle. No, 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 no. What's wrong with your face? Do I need to call a doctor? No, I'm clearly trying to communicate. Captain! There you are. We have an emergency. I'm taking care of it. OK, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to leave. Why did you stop me? I was making progress. I know, sir, but I have to say something. I love the 9-9, and the main reason why is you. Not Jake. Yes, clearly, it's mostly Jake, but it's also you. And the standard that you set for us with your unwavering morals, I'd rather we split up than stay together and compromise who we are. Well, thank you, Boyle. You're right. No matter what happens, we'll feel better knowing we didn't resort to blackmail. I agree. From now on, the only blackmail I want anything to do with is you. That was incredibly inappropriate. I know, but I had thought of it, and I was so proud, I just had to say it out loud. Let's just go. Great. The only thing you won last heist was a lifetime of mediocre heterosexual intercourse with Jake. How dare you? No one thinks you won last year. Wow, really thought the how dare you was going to be linked to his mean sex comment, but OK. Right, sorry. I'll have you know, Jake and I wear each other out every single night. Good lord, overcompensated. You know what, maybe we just shouldn't talk about this at work. I'm texting Kevin to bring the cummerbund. You'll see who the real winner is, you braggy breeders. Oh, a lot of infighting. Not too late to ditch Amy and team up with this Pussycat burglar. Please, Boyle, your only value was you had a doppelganger, which no longer matters since Bill died in that accident. So sad. sad. Tragic. I can still be useful without Bill. No holes too tight for these tiny tips. Oh. Oh. For stealing stuff. Hello, sir. Sorry again for tying you spread eagle on the bed. Apology not accepted. Look, I know you're upset, but this isn't your last chance to become commissioner. John Kelly's old. He's not going to be in office forever. True, but he'll just be replaced by another mediocre old white man. Nothing will ever change. All right. Well, what about all your goals for the 9-9? You still have so much left to accomplish. Wrong. I've accomplished everything that I set out to do. 
I wanted to reduce crime, and I did. There's no crime in Brooklyn anymore. Seems like a bit of a stretch. What about improving community relations? Done. Everyone loves the police. It's embarrassing. Way off. All right, Am. Step aside. I got this. Captain, what about the Halloween heist? I'll just come in and win it and then go back to my house. Damn it. I'm out. Ding dong. The lunch is dead. Bagels for everyone. So I guess you believe it now. Yep. Want to see the selfies I took? Actually, yes. I'll share the album with you. Oh, my God. I just heard about Wunsch. She was so young. For a redwood tree? Uh, I don't understand what's going on. Why are you crying? A person is dead. I feel sad. That's insane. You don't feel sad when a monster dies in a monster movie. In E.T., do you feel sad when E.T. dies? Yes. He wasn't a monster. He caused a real commotion. It isn't just Wunsch. I started seeing a fertility doctor, and she has me taking hormones to help with ovulation, and... My emotions are in overdrive. Well, I know just the thing to cheer you up. Wunch is dead! Bagel! 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 Sir, I am loving this color on you, but don't you think you should tone it down? Why, in case I run into a family? I'm not planning any trips to the Bronx Zoo. Wait, does this mean you're gonna be captain again? It does. The chief of personnel called to say the promotion is in the works. Her death means I've won. It's finally over. Okay, so the neighbors say they haven't seen or heard any activity in the Buckley's apartment, and. What is he doing here? If we find James and he's unstable, Dr. Tate could talk him down. Hello, Peralta. Plus, on the ride over, he gave me a quickie. A what? A quick therapy session. We talked about so much. Did you know that I have a tendency to be unconsciously sexual? Yes. It's a real tough nut to bust. Oh, you're doing it again. Oh, OK. I think I hear it. You think you hear it? Mm -hmm. Whatever. Let's just do this, OK? NYPD, open up. It's weird. The door's unlocked. That's too bad. I love watching you pound one out. Charles. What? That was sexual? Which part? All of the parts. All right, you stay here. Charles, we're going in. Bedroom's clear. Kitchen's clear. Did you see anything suspicious? Nothing, except for these laughing Jesus paintings everywhere. Why is he in front of a teepee? I don't know. The one in the kitchen has him at the Last Supper, but all the apostles are McDonald's characters. Which one's Judas? The, the hamburger. hamburger. Knew it as soon as I asked. We will once again pick up where we left off. The Infinitude Gym. You guys are still doing this? You know it's April now. Yeah, Terry, we're still doing it, and we're still having a great time. Why are the gems so pale? I guess Scully's insides sapped all the color out of them. I don't know. Babe, you're undercutting my whole thing with Terry here. Anyways, the Infinitude Gems will go back to Bill whose life seems to have unraveled even further. Tough march for you there, bud? Yeah, just a heads up, I sold my pants with the pocket, so I'll be putting the gems in my undies this time. No! I'll give him a fanny pack. Can I keep it? This could be just what I need to turn my life around. Yeah, Bill, you can keep the fanny pack. I don't have to do anything for it, do I? Because I will, if you ask. I'll do anything, even... What's that supposed to represent? No one answer that! Hello, I'm Captain Raymond Holt, and I can assure you this is not a fun office. Thank goodness. In that case, my interest is renewed. Here is my resume. Oh, I'm feeling this. Are you guys feeling this? Gordon, why don't you tell Captain Holt a little bit about yourself? Where to begin? I'm 174 centimeters tall. I can type 103 words per minute with an error rate of 1.6%. And I recently moved here from Philadelphia, which is the sixth most populous US city. I understand the city of Philadelphia is coterminous with Philadelphia County, making it the eighth largest metropolitan statistical area. Yeah, Philly's cool. Isn't it fun just telling each other facts? Yes. yes. Well, I think I have all the information I need. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Lark. My pleasure. So, looks like Operation Nasty is a full-on success, huh? You mean Operation Nasty Sex Lot? As it was by now, it's... Didn't you see him flirting with me? No, I most definitely did not. And you're a blind man and a prude to boot. Did you see his tie? A single Windsor. The easiest knot to undo. <laughs> Why bother wearing any clothes at all? I think you badly misread that interaction. Please. He did everything but lick his lips and purr. Get rid of him.